Stop playing with them Hi, I'm Nicola Cairncross. Welcome to my podcast. This is where we talk about entrepreneurship, digital marketing, being a digital nomad, and much, much more. I really hope you enjoy the show. And I can see myself moving, so that's always a good sign. So, yeah, I'm um, I'm pretty cross with myself, to be honest. I've been putting this off and putting this off. Should have done it Friday or even Thursday, and I just haven't done it. And I haven't done it because I've been letting my emotions get the better of me, as usual. We'll talk a bit more about that in a moment. But let's talk about what's worked first, because that's always a good positive place to start. So, yeah, what's worked? Um, It was a big week last week and lots. I did lots of big things, lots of big new things. And I, I, I do this. I go on this rampage of action and then I get a bit worn out. I think it's entrepreneurial burnout or adrenaline overload or something. And then it all floods away from me and I just feel completely exhausted. So uh, that's been a little bit of what happened um, towards the end of last week. But in the meantime, um, I had a thing that my website wasn't getting as much traffic as it should be. It was building up, you know, but it was building up slowly. And I just thought, this is ridiculous. Why don't I get someone to have a look at it? And I got someone to have a look at my Google Analytics 4 and my Google console a Google search console now. And he just checked it over and he realized there was a few things because it kept telling me that only about half my pages have been indexed. And I, he, he was telling me that as soon as you put a post up, you can go over to your Google search console and submit your own new post to be indexed. And that can speed the process up a little bit. You can only do it once, mind, for each post, so or page on your website. So he was advising me to do that. He gave me a few other tips as well, and he fixed a few things, which was where I had a few duplicate titles. Um, so, for example, when I was putting up my what's work, what didn't post, I wasn't putting a date on it, which would have made it a unique um URL. So that's something to bear in mind is don't have duplicates. The other thing that I do sometimes is I put up um, the a better entrepreneur podcast and I don't necessarily put a date on, on the title to make that a unique URL. Well, I'll be doing that from now on because apparently it just it, it views each duplicate page or post because a post is a page really it views duplicates as errors and it it makes your site load up with errors in the eyes of google so that's a pretty good tip he gave me some you know it's only about 30 30 dollars for the report and then 70 dollars to fix the things that he found wrong so i think that was a good investment because now i can stop worrying about it it's it's off my head out of my head now i know what to do he said the other tip that he would recommend is that I give my images um, keyword relevant titles when I upload them. Well, mm, not really going to do that. So, um, yeah, because I prefer them titled about what's in the picture rather than what the keyword I'm trying to target is. I might rethink that, but that's one of the things that he did tell me that I could do to improve things. Um, I don't want to be a website full of keyword stuffed articles and all that stuff. But you can at least, I, in fact, I do more SEO on my videos on YouTube because I find it easier there. Anyway, well, we'll we'll think about that as we go. Um, what else has happened? I've, I had a breakthrough a couple of weeks ago at lunch with a friend who said to me, why are you not trying to monetize that very active group you've got on Facebook? Five and a half thousand people and about a hundred joining every week. So um, I did do that. I, I added the email, what is your email, primary email question to the group group's questions as people come in. And I've hooked it up with my uh, autoresponder system so that I, they can get their free gift and then they can get a couple of other emails following up. And then I can move them, those of them that are interested in being um, a business person or freelance or consultant or expert or author, that kind of thing, into another autoresponder sequence and then I can leave the people alone who aren't interested so I don't want to bother anyone so uh yeah so that's a big big win and that's working really really well and the software I'm using for that is called group collector and it's a really nice bit of kit and it just simply takes the email address that the person's given it doesn't do anything underhand it doesn't take any email addresses from their facebook membership or anything like that it just you ask them to give you their email in return for a gift they give you the email and then it automatically moves it into your autoresponder and it's a really nice little bit of kit and uh, i would recommend it 
The other thought that I had around that, because you can't help having new ideas, can you as an entrepreneur, is, uh, is that I could start a new group around something that's very connected to my my expertise. And if I could get that working as well, but I'm not sure if it would, because, you know, business topics, they're never as sexy as um, leisure topics, are they? So I'm going to continue to think about that one and see if I can come up with a, a really good idea for a group that would really help people who are my ideal clients and um, see if I can build build up a group that I can then use to feed more of, as a percentage, more people into my uh, automated marketing funnel. What else happened? Um, oh, yes, this is quite good. Uh, I've learned how to make shorts for YouTube by using um, chat GPT and Canva. And basically, you use chat GPT, you tell them all about your ideal client, you come, they get chat GPT to come up with the challenges your ideal client's facing, say 30 of them, and uh, problems and pains and worries and all that stuff. And then you take it over into a document into Dropbox and you set up make.com to take the topics and turn them into little videos in Canva. It's easier to... Um, do than it is to explain <laughs> so uh yeah so that's working really well because every day a new short video is going out automatically um and it's definitely making a difference to my youtube channel so what i did so i've got some numbers here so in order to get monetized on youtube you need um a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours in any one three on any one year so 365 days which averages 11 watch hours per day and I'm averaging about one watch hour today per day. And that's definitely gone up since doing these um, shorts, because although they're only a minute, if you can get 60 people watching them, that's 60 minutes. That's an hour, isn't it? So, <laughs> so you're getting an extra hour a day watch time which is absolutely amazing. Forgive the motorbike. I don't know if you can hear it on this, but there's motorbikes around Shoreham all the time now. I'm pretty convinced someone's paying them to annoy me. But uh, yeah, so it's it's improved my watch time just by having um, a, a day going up. And shorts just get more views than normal videos. I don't know why. But hopefully it will be attracting people. I've definitely noticed my subscriptions going up as well. So I'm I'm hoping it's attracting the right kind of people to the channel who will go and watch other videos as well. And it does seem to be having an effect. Like when I look at the list of videos that get getting one view, two views, three views a day, it's the list is definitely getting longer. So it's spilling out into the other videos, which is quite good. What else has worked? Um, many chat, many chats working. So, well, it's working in the fact that I've set it up. Do you ever have days when you try and set something up and it just, you cannot understand it at all, or you can't make it work, or you just don't understand what you're supposed to do? And then you go away and you have a sleep, and then you come back the next day and you think, oh, yeah, okay, I get it. Uh, it's really quite an amazing thing when that happens. It's almost like, um, have I ever told you the story about when I learned to roller skate in my dream? Well, I had these roller skates, very not very um, lightweight ones. They weren't boots. They clipped onto your shoes. This was back in the 70s. And they were made of um, metal and they screwed up onto your shoes. I mean, they were so heavy, I can't tell you. <laughs> and uh, I couldn't do it. I couldn't get it. I couldn't get the movement at all. And then one day I dreamed that I was roller skating. And I woke up the next morning and I had... I'd been trying to ice skate effectively instead of roller skating. So anyway, my dream, my subconscious obviously knew how to roller skate, but my conscious mind wasn't getting it. And it had, I had to dream it, to feel it as if I was actually doing it in my dream to be able to do it. Isn't that fascinating? And um, so that's exactly what happened with Money, Money Chat. I've used Money Chat before and I really liked it before, but this time around I was starting from scratch, not using someone else's template. And um, it was really hard and I just wasn't getting it at all. And then I went to sleep, woke up the next morning and then boom, there it was in my head how to do it. So that's rather nice. Um, what didn't work? Well, my one of my mentor's spreadsheets where he tracks our progress didn't work. And it's not their fault. It's my fault because when I set it up, I put one less line in it that I needed and 
Um, so every time I fill it in this, this every month, it's wrong. And that means I'm not able to follow what I'm supposed to be doing as well as I would like. And I know that it's just a niggle because actually I could just take his advice and just do what he says. But it's just a niggle every time the month that it keeps wrong. I'm not very, generally speaking, I'm not a very systems orientated person. So although I like to make systems, I like to then forget them. And this spreadsheet tracking of my numbers is just really getting to me because it's wrong every month. And it's, like I say, it's not their fault, it's my fault, but it just annoys me that it's wrong. And that distracts me from doing the things I need to do. So what else didn't work? Um, Well, the SEO fixes don't seem to have improved my traffic any. So I'm not sure what to do about that. He did offer to do some SEO stuff for me, but I'm a bit worried it would be black hat rather than white hat so he did promise me it'd be white hat but you know you just can't trust people really so um so I'm not going for it but that you know hopefully my traffic will pick up with time and it really doesn't matter anyway it really doesn't because most businesses are conducted on social media platforms now I don't need people to come to my website to make money so I need to just like let go of that that's old school marketing and realize that I just need to focus on many chat instead so what else has happened oh well this monkeypox thing jesus such a lie such a lie and they're making such a big deal out of it and there's so many people going to fall for it and i'm terrified my family are going to get it the injection which coincidentally they happen to have all ready to go for something that actually is still in the congo and isn't actually i won't go into too much detail but it's a, it's a complete scam again And it's really upsetting me because I'm terrified that my kids are going to fall for it because they don't listen to a word I say. And because they're all grown up now, of course, they don't take any notice, do they? So um, I've just got to let go. And it's so hard to let go when you've looked after them for 26, 25, 26, 27 years. And, you know, whatever. It's really got to me this week. What's changing I've got to learn to trust the process. I've got I've got a strategy. I've got a plan. I'm I'm sticking to it. It's starting to work. Um, you know, it's quite hard to wind a business back up from zero, uh, which is what I'm doing effectively, and especially as times have changed dramatically. Um, so I've just got to trust the process. I've got a good plan. I'm carrying it out. I'm getting better every week at carrying it out and doing it more efficiently and more effectively. And um, I just need to do the work despite the feelings. That's what I've written down here. So this whole thing about people getting locked up for saying things on social media, I mean, that's doing my head in as well, not least because uh, I've been quite outspoken on social media. So I'm a little bit concerned. You shouldn't be locking people up for things like that. Okay. And um, yeah, so I've got to do the work despite the feelings. And I hope that you are able to do the same. I hope that you are, if you're intrigued by any of the stuff I've talked about today, do drop me a message in the comments below and I would try and help you as much as I can. And uh, yeah, let's hope that this next week brings better news, shall we? Yeah, Bitcoin, gold and silver going out would be nice. (laughs) Anyway, I'll speak to you soon. Speak to you next week, in fact. Bye. You've been listening to Nicola Cairncross of nicolacarenext.com. Well, I hope you enjoy the show today. We've got lots of resources on the website, so do come over to check them out. And by all means, feel free to book yourself into my diary at nicolacarenext.com forward slash diary. I love to talk to entrepreneurs.